So in the previous tutorial, we looked at if and else. This time we're adding in an elif. So what we're looking at is what happens if you want to check more than situ one situation. So in the previous task, we looked at if it's above five or below five, but what if it is equal to five? So we need an if, if it's greater than five, do this. Elif, it's equal to five, do this. Otherwise, do this. So if, elif and else. Elif stands for else if. So here we have one. If you want to calculate somebody was a child, a teenager or an adult. We're going to use if, elif and else for this. So the way that it looks is if, then you do your first expression, colon to end, do this. Elif, this happens, do this. Elif, this happens, do this. Else or otherwise, do this. So we're going to write a program to say whether a person is a child, a teenager or an adult. If they're aged 18 or older, they're an adult. If they're under 13, they're a child. Otherwise, they're a teenager. Do it in this order. So write your first if, your elif and your else. Now, I'm just going to demonstrate this using the previous activity that we did. So if number is greater than five, you're going to print greater than five. Elif, oops, that's not what I wanted, sorry. E-L-I, elif, number is equal to, remember we've got to use a double equals because we're comparing two things. Oh, if it's greater than five, print greater than five. If it's equal to five, this is five. Otherwise, in all other situations, it must be less than five. So you're going to do this similar concept now for the for to see whether it's an adult or not. Now remember, if they're 18 or older, so you might want to think about if age is greater than or equal to 18. Okay. So just think about that concept. Pause the video, give this a go. So once you've given it a try, this is what the code should have looked like. Now I've cheated a little bit here. I said if age is greater than 90. Actually, it should be if age is greater than 18. Um, because obviously 19 is greater than 18. So that actually is the code there for it. Now just have a little practice of that. You're going to create the conversation like we did in the last lesson, but this time you can actually respond. So you could ask the, what the weather is like. <coughs> if they say sunny, you could say, oh, that's nice. If it's rain, then you could say, oh, don't forget to bring an umbrella. And um, you could ask what their favorite food is. If they say pizza, you could say, oh, pizza. I like that too. And um, so you, you must use this if elif and else and you can have as many elifs as you want okay so go off and give that a go